DCS Warbirds. And we're going to take up a Thunderbolt. There's our loyal wingman. We're going to arm our ordnance as we have a ground target. It's marked with orange smoke. Our Thunderbolt is armed with three 500 pound bombs. Flight. Engage air defenses. Ground. Engaging air defenses. The ground target is a mechanized Wehrmacht column in occupied France. And we're going in with three. Throttling back. Two out. Three away. Clearing out. Oh, we got a direct hit on one of the vehicles. Here's an exterior view of the ground strike. Pretty absolute. Not good if you're a truck. All right, let's pick up uh, the battle as there's some incoming Luftwaffe fighters. Looks like they have the altitude over us. And we're going to engage our turbo boost with water injection. And we're going to pick up an FW 190 in a sustained right hand turn. He's got the speed and altitude. But we're going to keep that turbo boost going. Hundred percent RPM and prop pitch. And we've closed with the enemy fighter just just enough to get shots off. Checking that six as we're in a low speed right hand turn, but we're closing on the enemy. We had a little stutter and uh, the right hand turn, but we put our flaps down 10%. And now we're in a position to, to be fully offensive. to hit. 190 emitted some smoke. We're both going against our engine torque. But our right hand stutter is almost non-existent with the flaps being deployed. And the turbo boost Activated. We're scoring hits. Staying with that right hand turn. We scored 
record another hit. Oh, we got multiple hits on that one. You could see the 190 was trailing some smoke. More hits. We just lost our wingman to AAA. And we're going to stay with the fight. And we scored a whole stick of hits. You can see smoke coming off the aircraft after multiple hits. We let off the turbo boost. Yes, we're in a good position. And we got a good slow speed right hand turn without the stutter. We're still able to land the hits. The Luftwaffe pilots stand with that right hand turn. It's not really doing them any good. More hits. the D-30 that doesn't have the lead compensating gun sight, but I prefer it as an, uh, this type of engagement, uh, the pipper would disappear, wouldn't be visible. Because it'd be below the reflector. All right, more hits. All right, the pilot is now reversing. And with that, he's not showing much damage to his aircraft. Seems to be performing without any damage effects. Alright, he's going left. We're kicking in the turbo boost again. And he's going to a high speed dive, heading away. Not sure if he's trying to outrun us. have to do is engage the turbo supercharger and we're back with them. All right, he's going into a hard right hand low turn. And we're closing. Let's line up across. We just floated rounds underneath them. Gonna stay straight. Line up for the second cross. Oh, we scored a hit. Point blank. I think that's it for him. Oh, we can see what his strategy was. He's trying to lure us into his friendly AAA. Diabolical plan almost worked. Let's disengage the water injection. 
And there goes the enemy aircraft. He's able to ditch. All right, let's take it back to the base. A relatively successful mission. We were able to hit ground targets and get an air-to-air -air, uh, victory. We lost one aircraft, one friendly to AAA. Let's take it to the house. So I've been flying both uh, DCS had great battles, uh, P-47s. Uh, they're both modeled pretty, uh, pretty accurately, immersively, if you will. And I'd, I'd have to give the edge to DCS on immersion. You can really feel the turbo boost kick in, uh, as opposed to the great battles. Uh, turbo boost, you really don't feel that big jolt of power that you do in the DCS version. Alright guys, let's get lined up for final. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you like World War II combat flight sims, please subscribe to the channel. Let's get center line. Like, hate, subscribe. We'll see you up again soon. Touchdown. Nailed it. Take care, guys.